Introduction to the iPad Photos app. After viewing this video, you will know how to add photos to the Photos app, organize them in albums, send them by email, and delete them from an iPad. To get maximum benefit from this video, it is suggested that you view it on a computer while practicing the techniques demonstrated on your iPad. You can pause and review sections of the video at any time as needed. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Photos app on our iPad, sometimes also referred to as the Photo Library. The Photos app comes native on your iPad when it is shipped from Apple, so you don't have to go download it from the App Store. It has a big giant sunflower on its app icon. Mine happens to be down on my dock right now, so I'm going to tap my Photos app to open it. Mine just opened to the Photos view. At the top of the screen, right under the time, you can see Photos and Albums. So Photos is active on my app right now, and you can see I already have a bunch of photos in here. How do they get here? Well, there are three main ways that photos get into your photo library. The first one is any picture that you take with the camera on your iPad automatically goes here. And a separate video in our training modules showed you how to use the camera. A second way that a photo gets here is if it's an iPad screenshot. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. And then the third way is if that photo is downloaded from the internet. I'll also show you how to do that. So let's do the screenshot first. When might you use a screenshot? Maybe you want to show an example of something to your students. Maybe you want to send an example of something to a colleague. I'm going to go back out to my home screen. And let's say that someone has asked me what news apps I use on my iPad to keep up with local and world current events. So I want to tell them, but instead of just listing, I want to actually show them a picture of the icons so that it's easier for them to find the same apps in the App Store. A screenshot is perfect for this. What I'm going to do is open my news folder, and there are all the apps that I'm currently using to keep up with current events. To take a picture of this, you press and hold the home button and the power button, which because I'm in landscape mode is up here at the top left corner right now. So I'm going to press them at the same time. And if you listen, you should hear a camera shutter sound and you'll see the screen flash. So here it goes. Okay, there you go. I pressed them uh, together at the same time and then the screen flashed and I heard the shutter sound. So that's all there is to that. I'm going to close that folder and go back into my Photos app. And now you can see down here in the bottom right corner, there is the picture of my screen that I just took or my screenshot. If I tap it to open it, there it is. That could be a little confusing. When the photos controls go away like they just did, I kind of look like I'm on my home screen. But the way I know I'm not is if I tap on it, the photo app controls come back. And I'm going to tap Photos in the top left corner to get back to my library. So that is one way to get pictures into your picture library. So next, let's take a look at how to get a photo from a website on the internet. So I'm going to go back out to home and open up Safari. So I'm looking for some more money for a project I'm working on. So the next thing I need is a quarter, so I'm just going to look up quarter. And I'm going to tap images in Google. Lots of quarters. I like the second one. So what you do to get a picture is you press and hold until a little menu pops up. And then you select Save Image. Doesn't look like anything happened, but it did. I'll show you in a second. 
Next, I want to go look for a nickel. Okay, and I like this first nickel, so I'm going to press and hold. And then tap Save Image. Now I'm going to go back out and into my Photos app. And you can see down here in the bottom left corner, I have my quarter and my nickel. So even though it didn't look like it was doing anything, you just have to trust that iPad's putting that picture into your photo library in your Photos app when you press Save Image. Okay, so let's now take a look at organizing our photos using albums. Once you get a whole lot of photos on here, it might be hard to find the particular ones you want. So at the top of the screen, tap on Albums. Then to create a new album, you tap the plus sign in the top left corner. I'm going to call this one Coins. And now it's telling me to add photos to coins. So I'm just going to tap each of the coin photos and you can see they get a little blue circle with white check mark in them. When I'm done, I'm going to tap Done in the top right corner and now I have a coins album. If I tap it, I only see the four coins pictures. Now notice there was also this camera roll album here. You'll see that too. That's a default and it is uh, basically all the pictures on your iPad. If you tap it, it'll look exactly the same as when you are in photos. It shows all of your pictures. Let's look at a couple things that we can do with photos now. The first is if I want to get it off the device, I'll need to email it to myself or to someone else. So let's say, for example, I'm ready to send my news apps to my friend who wanted to know what news apps I use. I'm going to tap the news apps photo. And then in the top right, I'm going to tap the send to or share icon and tap mail. Now I'm going to address the email give it a subject and then hit send. Okay, my ability to do that is based on having the email configured on my iPad. Next, let's say I'm finished with that photo. I've sent it to my friend. I don't need it anymore. I know what news apps I have. I can simply tap on the photo and in the top right corner, tap the trash can and tap delete photo. This gets rid of it and shows me the next photo in my gallery. I can tap photos to get back to my big thumbnail list. You can also delete multiple photos at a time by tapping edit and then selecting a couple of photos that you want to delete. Then you would simply tap the delete button in the top left. Now what's important to note about this is this is irreversible. You cannot get the photos back if you delete them. So I'm actually not going to do it. I don't know for sure that I want to get rid of those pictures. So I'm going to come over here and tap cancel. The other place that you might want to delete photos is out of an album. Let me go to Albums, open my Coins album, and let's say that I've decided I only want silver coins, so I want to get rid of the penny. I'm going to tap Edit, select my penny, and tap Remove. Now, iPad reminds me here that the photo will be removed from the album, but it will stay in my photo library. So I have to Think about where I'm at. I'm in the Albums area. I'm only deleting from the album, not the iPad. So I can tap this. My penny is gone. If I go back to Albums and then go back to Photos, 
you'll see that my penny is really still on my iPad. I just took it out of the album. If I change my mind, I can go back to albums, tap on coins, tap edit, and tap add photos. Now I can select my penny and say done, and we're back in business. I'll go back to albums and back to my photos. So that's just a really quick tour of some of the most basic functions of the Photos app. There are some more things you can do, and I encourage you to explore those for yourself. This concludes our tutorial on the basics of using the iPad Photos app. If you are viewing this video as part of iPad Basic Training, please continue to the next activity as instructed in the online materials.